and my blood pressure was 138 over 88. Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Christy and if you're just joining me, I make pregnancy, vegan, and recipe videos and just lifestyle vlogs. So today I just wanted to do um, just a short little pregnancy update. I am currently 32 weeks pregnant as of yesterday. Um, I went to my midwife appointment yesterday um we're doing them every two weeks at this point so i went yesterday just for my normal checkup and my blood pressure was 138 over 88 um that was that's really high for me usually um it's more around the 120 mark usually i have really pretty good blood pressure so um they, my midwife came in, talked to me, um, asked like about any symptoms I might be having, and I told her, you know, just my list of things that I've been experiencing in the last two weeks, and on my list was that I have been um, experiencing really itch itchy legs at nighttime, and um, I think it's just because they're swelling and when your skin stretches it itches really bad but I just wanted to mention it just in case so I mentioned that to her and along with I mentioned two weeks ago that I was seeing floaters from time to time and I also had high blood pressure so they checked my blood pressure again I was still really high so they wanted to send me over to the hospital and <laughs> yeah so that so we went to the hospital um on our way to the hospital i was really i was really scared and you know i kind of had a bit of like had a bit of a cry because all i'm thinking is like oh great you know i've had my legs swelling and itching and i've had floaters which is a t change in vision and i've had um now I have high blood pressure, which was completely out of the ordinary for me. So all I'm thinking is these are all symptoms of preeclampsia and that terrifies me because that essentially means that the baby would have to be born early um, because they really just would want to get them out of me. So uh, that's not really something that anyone wants I would assume I don't know um, I, w I don't know it would break my heart if I couldn't give my baby his best chance at life um, so anyway we got to the hospital and I was checked in uh, immediately they took a blood sample um, and got me hooked up to a um, blood pressure monitor around my arm. It was going like every, I think every 15 minutes. I didn't really time it, but I think they said every 15 minutes it went off and measured my blood pressure. And then um, I was also hooked up to two uh, monitors around my stomach. One of them was measuring if I was having any contractions and the other one was measuring the baby's movement and heartbeat. Um, so after a while my my blood pressure was steadily dropping um pretty well actually and it like by the time i got there like it was already like relatively normal anyways it wasn't exactly high anymore which actually surprised me because i kind of got really worked up in the car i was really upset and alex was with me he was just trying to calm me down maybe he did calm me down a little i don't know um it was a really weird experience. I've never really experienced having high blood pressure before, so I, I honestly don't know what could have caused it, but um, 
it ended up my blood pressure ended up going down my blood results came back fine after oh my gosh but we had to wait for like three hours for them to finally come back and um tell me that everything looked normal in my blood so the baby's movement was fine his heartbeat was pretty consistently around 140 which is good um he was actually doing quite a bit of moving, uh, so yeah, I don't know, we, they basically came in and told me that sometimes this could just happen, I guess, I might just experience random spikes in my blood pressure, um, which is a little bit scary, and I don't know, I'm, I'm still feeling like really on edge, I don't know. I mean, I know that they told me that everything is fine. My blood pressure actually got down to 110 over 65, which is good. Um, I don't know. They don't know, really, even why my blood pressure randomly spiked that high. Um, but I guess it... I, I feel conflicted in that of... I, I feel like sort of relieved because it's good news that he's okay nothing's wrong but i also feel incredibly anxious and nervous that maybe something is wrong and we haven't caught it yet um but i also was just you know on the drive over to the hospital i was just telling alex like i feel like i've had a relatively easy pregnancy relatively normal and i know that you know, I'm getting all these symptoms and I'm in a little bit of pain here and there, but I know that some women out there have it way, way, way worse than me and I feel like I've had a relatively speaking good, good pregnancy. Um, of course, aside from the first trimester because who can ever really say that morning sickness is good, but um, yeah, I don't, I, we, so we really don't know what happened. But I thought I would give you all that update that I am fine, baby is fine, and we are working on just staying fine, still going on walks um, in the afternoon, and just going to keep an eye on my blood pressure from now on. Um, I actually go back to see my midwife next week, so she didn't want to wait the full two weeks to see me again next. So I'll be going back next week and I'll be sure to let you all know what happens at that appointment. Um, I'm just really hoping that my blood pressure is normal that day. Um, yeah, so I just want to thank you all for watching and um, if you're a new subscriber, be sure to say hello. I love meeting you all and it really touched my heart because some of you guys actually reached out to me while I was in the hospital and wanted to make sure I was okay. And I just want to say that that meant a lot and thank you for that. And um, yeah, so I hope you all have a good day. I'm going to go on to record the weekend vlog now and I will see you all on Monday with the weekend vlog. Bye!